Can I talk to you a minute, sir? Sure, what's up? We're just out talking to people about Jesus Christ uh -huh. and uh, have concern for our Mormon friends as, as we understand uh, your Jesus Christ, as, as you teach him, uh, was a man who became a god who came to show us how to become gods and goddesses okay. uh, in our own time. And, and that seems very contrary to the scriptures. In, in specific, perhaps you can answer, uh, Isaiah 43, verse 10, says, Before me there was no God formed, nor shall there be after me. I, even I, am the Lord, and besides me there is no Savior. And so, out of love, we, we want you to be saved. Uh, we want all men to be saved. Of course. <laughs> uh, Mormons, Catholics, Muslims, Buddhists, atheists, atheists all men. Right. Uh, we were at the abortion clinic earlier today, pleading for souls there as well as lives. Um, but the, the true Savior, you're in verse 11 of Isaiah 43, says in verse 10, Before me there was no God formed, nor shall there be after me. Okay. So that's the true Savior. He's the, the eternal, he pre-existent right. Son of God. He's never not existed. He's always existed. He's everlasting to everlasting. Uh, he, he was not the offspring of God the Father and, and a goddess. Uh, he's the eternal Son of How God. How do you know that? Because the, what the Bible says, well, Before me there was no God formed, true, nor shall there be after me. Okay, so who's to say that he was, he's the Son of God? Right, the eternal Son of God. Right. But not in the sense of, of prodigy, not in the sense of, um, uh, again, it doesn't say that. Uh, Isaiah 44, uh -huh. verse 6, says, Thus says the Lord, the King of Israel, and his Redeemer, the Lord of hosts, I am the first and I am the last. Besides me there is no God. Okay. No God other than the one true God. So what's that God? Who is Father, Son, his Father, and Holy Spirit. It's His Father. Right? The so, Eternal Father, the yes. Eternal Son, and the Eternal Holy Spirit. One God is Genesis 1.26. God said, let us make a man in our image. Let us make a man in our image. And there were two people there. Um, at least two. Yeah. I would say three, right? Because in Genesis 1, 1, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And then shortly thereafter, the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the waters. Right. And by the time we get verse 26, let us make man in our image. And then as you consider John 1, 1, in the beginning was the Word. The Word is with God. The Word was God. Sure. All things were created through Him. Without Him, nothing was made that was made. Okay. And, and so, so that was Jesus then. Yes, yes. Jesus with Yeshua. God the Father, right. Yeshua or Jehovah or, or Yahweh, with yeah. God the Father right. and the Holy Spirit saying, let us make man in our image. There is no goddess there. No, there really. is no celestial sexual relations no, no. there. And we don't teach that. Well, you do teach celestial sexual relations in the Mormon church. Not necessarily, no. Well, because... <laughs> I, I think, I personally, okay, think that sexual relations is an earthly thing, all right? So because we need to populate the world, we need to provide bodies for spirits. Right. Right? That's not going to happen once we're resurrected. Okay. You know, and well, so you, a lot of us will think that as to... So there's some non-sexual okay, union or, or but we something that results together. in we, spiritual offspring that would inhabit the bodies of... Well, I, I suppose, but I'm not sure how that works. There's a lot of things that we don't know. Right. Okay. Right. So, so and, some of the teaching so is a ambiguous. Of, a lot of things we, uh, we kind of extrapolate our earthly experience mm -hmm. with what we think is heavenly. Sure. All right. Where, uh, like for instance, uh, there are many mansions. He talks about mansions. Sure. And we think right away, oh, physical I, mansions. That's yeah. right. Like I, I, I want about. this, you know, this house that's you know ten right. thousand. What we think is a mansion. Sure. It may not be that way. Right. We don't know. Right. You know, no, so. I, I completely agree with that. And so a lot of things, and so you wonder. Except the character and nature of God. Okay. Has been revealed sure. through Scripture, and the God he's that eternal, Joseph Smith, he's loving, has he, presented. He, he is eternal, and right. he is. Three, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. No, even is not three. That's three individuals. Even as uh, three persons. Three persons. Three one God. Individual. Three persons, one God. The Lord our God. The Lord our God is okay. one. Deuteronomy six four. All right. So there's one God, but there are others there that are helping him. There's Jesus. Okay. So you have God the Father, Jesus Christ, who is who is God the Son in God the full the sense of God. And then there's the Be Holy Ghost because. Jesus right. is also Yahweh, right. 
Right. And, this, there's two gods and the right spirit there. is also Yahweh. No, one God, one well, essence. There's one God, God three the persons. Father, and then Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Again, back to Genesis 1, 26. Let us make man in right. our there's two people. image, right. singular. What, one, one image. That's us. One in, God. In, in our image. Right. Yeah. Plural, persons. Image singular, one essence. You, you and I, one our, essence. our image is somebody who looks like us. No, no, he says our image. Yeah, our so Yeah. We can talk, you and I can Their talk image. and say our image right. would be somebody who looks like us, right? Right. Physically, you know, we may not have the same color eyes or whatever, but, you know, so the our, okay, so what? Right. Do you believe in some yeah. different gods? They're all different gods? Yes. No. And they would have different images because they're different. Well, there, there are three. You have three different entities, God which would Father, be three different gods. God the Father, the Son Jesus Christ, and the Holy Ghost. Right, but okay. but you believe that they are distinct gods, and that ultimately Jesus, a distinct God, but they are is going to show you how to become a God. Not one uh, they're not one in purpose. They are one sure in they nature. Are. They are one, well, they, I would agree. They are one in purpose, but they're not just one in purpose. They're, they're one in purpose for the same thing. and <laughs> and one in yeah, nature. Right. Yes, Jesus said, if, "If you've seen me, you have seen right. the Father." Sure. Right. And they took up stones to stone him. Why? Jesus. Yes. Or Stephen. No, Jesus. He says, "If you've seen me, you've seen the Father." They took up stones to stone him. Okay. They did stone Stephen. Yeah. Right. Um, but they wanted to stone Jesus. Why did they do that? I have no idea. Right, because they believed that was heresy, because he was claiming oneness with the Father. Right. Yes. Okay, guys, I got it roll. <laughs> and so, sir, so here's yeah. the deal. Your Jesus, your Jesus, is is taking you down the road of Lucifer. Isaiah 14? I don't know. Yes. I don't think so. Lucifer wanted to what? He wanted to control everything. He wanted to control everything. Right. And he wanted to make wanted us to take away our choice. He wanted to make us wise, but wise for evil, not for good. Right. If you eat of this, you shall be like God. Right. That's Satan's great sin that he led us into. He wanted to be like God, worshiped like God. God and so God cast him down. And he came to Adam and Eve and he said, If you eat of this, you shall be like God. In Isaiah 14, that's what it declares. But but the true God says that before me there was no God for, nor shall there be after me. The true God, we cannot be like God says besides me God there is no there. God well I know you have kind and of a so multi-level marketing we, we, we can't be God I, I, know. I know that I know what you're saying there yeah. and, and yet and, and yet I'm you saying. would believe that you're gonna go and be like God at, a, at another planetary system on another planet who knows? And, and there the people beneath you who are your prodigy your offspring can never ascend to your level because you're ahead of them in the multi-level marketing spiritual program. But I don't know. They, they would probably exceed me. <laughs> Truth be known. <laughs> well, that's humble for you to say, and, and yet you see how that, that system yeah, works. See. I understand how you're saying we're never going to be like God, and yet and yet you do believe you're going to become a God, which is the original sin. There's that, that potential. It's not an automatic. Even saying that there's a potential, sir, yeah. is, is heresy. Is heresy. No, that's what he teaches. I got it wrong. Sir, thank you. The first commandment, thou shalt have no other gods before me. The second is like it. As for you, sir, you desperately need it. Thou shalt not make any graven images, nor bow down to them and serve them. And your, your Christ, sir, has been created by Joseph Smith. And you're going to perish in your sins as an idolater. <clears throat> Revelation chapter 21, verse 8 says, Idolaters will abide under the wrath of God. And so, sir, out of love, I exhort you to repent of idolatry and turn to the true Christ and live.